Update 9.9 .9 arrives with the motto, Quality First. The domination event receives further tweaks and improvements. Graphics are enhanced and performance improves. Maps are changed for the better and new features are added. The domination event showed us what true action-packed tank clashes should look like. The three pillars of this event will remain the same. The opportunity to continue the battle right after your vehicle has been destroyed. The presence of repair zones and victory points to determine the winner. But this is only the beginning. In update 9.9, .9, a new version of domination emerges, Steel Hunt. It will be available in several formats. In the first format, four platoons of three players will fight against each other. Each platoon can score points by delivering the flag to their base. There are three flags to allow room for tactics and avoid all-out chaos. In the second format, 12 solo players will roll out on the battlefield. Things are simple here. No flags, no platoons. Everyone is fighting for themselves. Finally, the third and most unpredictable format incorporates elements from both of the first two. There are four platoons and four solo players. Platoons need to deliver flags to their bases, and solo players get points by destroying flags, which they can do by rolling over them. Another test version of domination stands out. Like the everyone versus everyone format, there are no flags. However, there will be the standard division of two teams. Their goal will be to control special spots on the map. A team earns points for maintaining control of these positions. Five Tier 10 tanks will be available to players for participation in the new modes of domination. The Bat Chatillon 25T, IS-7, Leopard 1, T-57 Heavy, and Object 268. There will also be two little bonuses, Artillery Strike and Air Strike. These are combat consumables. They are available to all players. To use them, players need to fill a special efficiency bar by causing damage and earning points. Make a few successful shots and then use a super strike. Up next, new vehicles. The Japanese Tiger and a replacement for the Aufklär und Panzer Panther. Changes to the swamp map and graphics improvements. The lighting model gets a noticeable upgrade. Metal and flat surfaces now look more realistic. Soft shadows and shadows from grass have been added. The whole shadow rendering system has been improved, but at the same time, it now consumes fewer computer resources. Based on feedback from the players and statistical data, we significantly reworked the swamp map. We added routes through the hills, relocated the castle, which is now a playable area, and moved the team's spawn points. The center of the map has been reworked with the addition of new hills and spots for cover. Vulnerabilities in the modeling of the front armor of some heavy tanks were fixed. They allowed weak guns to penetrate the front of certain heavy tanks, mostly in the Soviet IS series. Almost 20 models were reviewed, and the chance of mistaken penetration was reduced significantly. The Japanese Tiger was literally resurrected from the sea floor. A Tiger tank was being taken from Germany to Japan via submarine. It sank, and the tank was lost. This makes it a true beast from the depths. Its characteristics are very similar to its German counterpart, but with one important difference. This is a Tier 6 vehicle, not a Tier 7 like the regular Tiger. Its armor is reduced, but only slightly, and it is now one of the most durable tanks in its tier. This tank is a great opportunity to train your Japanese heavy tank crew in advance. It may come in handy very soon. Tier 7 in the researchable German branch of light tanks will be occupied by the Schwe Panzer, replacing the Aufklär und Panzer Panther. The new scout tank's mobility is reminiscent of its predecessor, but has no armor at all. The upper glacis plate, rear, and sides have only 10 mm of armor. The turret front has a whopping 15 mm, still not enough to stop a shot, but it may protect against flies when the tank is traveling at its maximum speed of 58 km per hour. However, unlike the Aufklär und Panzer Panther, the Schwe Panzer carries a dangerous gun. It it has the highest armor penetration and damage per shot among all light tanks in its tier. Take part in Steel Hunt, explore the revised maps, and try the new vehicles. More new and interesting clashes lie ahead. See you on the battlefield.